One. Hello and welcome to Edinburgh Watch Company. My name is Jonathan and on today's video I'm going to talk to you about and show you a really nice Omega Planet Ocean that we have just bought. Now you can find out more about this watch by visiting our website at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk and there you'll find we've got some photographs and technical specification of the watch. So this particular one is a 2012 watch and as you can see here it has all of its outside boxes, all the three Omega warranty cards, the instruction manual, lovely red box here and a little Omega tag, so just a full set. Now we only really buy the best of watches and this one is a fine example of that. It's in absolutely lovely condition. It had been very lightly worn when we got it and uh, we sent it away to our watchmaker who's an Omega approved uh, service agent, it's all been checked over, it's been regulated, it's been pressure tested and it's had a very very light polish so it's pretty well looking almost in, in new condition today. Now I'm a great fan of this watch, I remember having one a few years ago although sadly not with this lovely orange bezel on it because it works really well and it's an aluminium bezel, I think it just suits the watch perfectly. Now the size of this one is 45.5 mil, so this is without doubt a fairly heavy and chunky diver's watch, so quite similar in a way to the, the Rolex Deep Sea in, in sort of size. Uh, it's, you certainly know you're wearing it, but it's a really, really handsome watch if you want, if you want a bigger watch as it were. So um, functionality wise, uh, it's an automatic. Uh, it is also a coaxial movement as well, so that's the escapement movement that was designed back in 1999 by George Daniels. And the colours throughout this watch with the black and the orange and the stainless steel, I think make it for a really, really great looking sports watch. Uh, it's a chronometer movement as well, so again it's a very accurate watch, that's going to perform to with about minus 4 to plus 6 seconds a day. So let's have a slightly closer look at it just now. So you can see here, nice matte black dial, little orange uh, second hand markers there, orange at 12 o'clock. You've got the date window down at the bottom. And then you see here on the side here with the pushers there, just nice little orange accents just on the side of it. So the sort of orange color works throughout the watch. Nice firm push for the chronograph there. That sets this going off here. And then if we stop that, and then reset there. Typical to the Planet Ocean range and the Seamasters, it has this helium escape valve here too. So this you just turn anti-clockwise there when you're diving and coming nearer the water top. The bezel here, again stainless steel, with the orange aluminium bezel insert. And this is what we call unidirectional. So for those wanting to use this as a diver's watch there, you would set this there to mark the remaining oxygen left in your tank, it will not turn backwards and then you just turn it around um, to get it back to zero when you've finished. Mounted on the stainless steel oyster bracelet here and again that can easily be adjusted just by taking the screws out there to get the bracelet right for you and you can see here you have that familiar Omega logo there on this satinized finish here and just look at the condition, it's absolutely fantastic We've got really, really good polishers down at our watch repair centre in Newcastle. They do a great, great job. To open the clasp, we just pinch these two buttons here, and that opens there. And you'll see here, it's got a solid stainless steel clasp. If you wanted to go diving with it, wearing a wetsuit, then all you have to do is just a firm pull here, and this actually opens up there, and that just gives you an extra bit of space to put it over a dive suit. Now while it's really handsome to look out from the front, just look at the back of it there. You've got this lovely wide crystal back to it there and you can see the Amiga coaxial 9200 or is it 9000, forgive me, 9300 uh, movement in the back there. It's a really, really great looking watch. Uh, of course this is um, waterproof down to 600 meters, so I think that'll do most of our customers quite well. Size wise, as I say, 45 mil, so it's certainly a big watch there, but let me show you on my wrist. Uh, my wrist is uh, eight inches, um, so it just gives you a sort of perspective there of, of what it looks like for thickness as well. So it's a really, just a super, super looking watch. So there we are, that is our Omega Planet Ocean Chronograph Automatic Coaxial 2012 
box and papers and everything you need. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. Please just click on here. We've got lots more videos you can see just by subscribing to our channel. Bye-bye.